Isabel Kingston smoothed over the silk of her new gown before entering the throne room. She wanted to wear something simple to court, the Breton-style garb Verandas preferred, but Adusadaro wouldn't hear of it. You need to look the part of a female noble of Rivenspire, the Khajiit had said. You are new to these courtiers, at least as a member of their ranks. Adusa thinks you need to make a good impression, for all our sakes. It was true. While the people of Rivenspire hailed the Ravenwatch as heroes, the rest of Tamriel still carried uncertainty, resentment, fear. Vampires were still unrepentant monsters to them. This was a chance to prove them wrong. Isabel's parents would be surprised to see their daughter leading a noble house, however minor its standing. Her family contained a long line of commoners and more than a few thieves. As some would say, Isabel came by her thieving trade honest. Even as a small girl, she had the knack and the charm. Once she was old enough, she sought out the Thieves' Guild and honed those skills to a razor-fine edge. She was surprised that the skills that made her a good thief served her well in her work for the Covenant and for House Ravenwatch. This was a path Akatosh and Mara set her on long before she walked it. She never ceased to be amazed by how the Divines worked their will. Isabel straightened her spine, turned on the charm, and entered the throne room, not as an agent of the kingdom, but as the head of a noble house. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this short excerpt. If you'd like to read the rest of the story, you can find it on my story blog. A link to the story is in the description below.